Hello, welcome to Home Cooking with Som Jit. Have you ever run into situation or roadblock of what to cook for your family every day? But today we're gonna turn this frozen crab balls into a delicious sambal. You can cook and eat it with your nasi lama or just a plain rice. Will be as perfect. So um, I have a crab balls here, half a packet because I have already used up some. And to store of frozen food, right? It's best to just open up and leave it in the room temperature. So I'm going to go ahead and put the crab balls here into uh, leave it in the open and leave it to thaw. All right. Here are the rest of the ingredients. Some of this I will be using to blend it and make the sambal. So I have ten pieces of um, dry chili. For today, I'm using the red big dry chili this chili they are not spicy and they give out a very nice color so I use a ton of it but by the way for this chili pre-cooked you need to soak it in the hot water for about 20 minutes so it can be softened and five cloves of garlic eight pieces of shallots one tablespoon of shrimp paste or blajan one tablespoon of dry shrimp or udang kering half tablespoon of sugar, six pieces of bird eye chili. This is totally optional because we are putting chili in the sambal, but I just like to topping a pieces of chili in the sambal. In case anyone want to eat it slightly more spicy, they can just break the chili and eat. And I have three pieces of asam kapeng, some water, two pieces of medium-sized red onion, and two pieces of red chili. I'm going to cut up all these ingredients and then we can go and blend it by the way this will be in the blender this will be in the blender all this will be for topping all right i'm going to blend all of these ingredients Let's put in the chili dry shrimp and lajan. I'm putting in water to help in blending. All right, within minute, I have the ingredients blended and very fine. And now the crab ball is already thawed and it's very soft. So I can, I'm going to go ahead and wash it. Then we can go and cook it. Heat the pan and I'm going to put in about 4 tablespoons of cooking oil. Oil is getting hot, I'm going to put in the sambal. And we're going to cook the sambal until it's released a nice fragrant and it dry up. This will take about 5 to 7 minutes. After I've been cooking this for about 5 minutes, so the sambal is slightly getting dry and the oil is coming out and it really has a very nice fragrance. So now I'm going to put in the sugar and asam kapeng, bird eye chili and onions. Onions I cut it into slices like that. So we're going to continue to cook for another two minutes all right now the sambal is really dry up and I'm going to add in about one cup of water so now sambal has a bit of gravy and we are going to put in the crab ball that we washed It looks so yummy because crab ball they don't have liquid or any water in them right when we continue to cook it will dry up so I'm going to add a bit more water just half a cup of water yeah. so the sambal won't be so dry it's nice to eat with rice okay I'm going to leave it to cook for another uh, three minutes until the 
crab ball is cooked. All right, three minutes. The crab ball is cooked. I'm going to lower the heat. And we can taste it. It's delicious, but it slightly lack of saltiness. So I'm going to put in just one over eight of the salt. Don't put too much in case it's salty. I'm gonna add in another teaspoon of sugar. Increase the temperature a bit and just give it a stir. This should be enough but it's so delicious all right it is done the crab ball samba i'm going to switch off the heat and for this kind of dish you can serve right away it's okay or you can just cook for a day and um, have it for lunch or dinner for substitute of the crab ball you can use fish ball or meat ball it's totally optional so um, i'm going to dish out and serve Let's eat! This type of sambal is best to eat with rice. Look at that sambal. Wow, very delicious. The sambal is very tasty with nice fragrance of the shrimp paste and also the dry shrimp. And the crab ball is soft and tender and it is not too spicy. Really good. I love it. I give it a thumbs up. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please share with your friends and remember to subscribe for more of my variety cooking like this. Thank you and bye-bye.